Hey guys, welcome back to our new video in the Android testing playlist. Now, what we've been doing so far is we created our database and also some dependency injection in the app that we are building, which is this one. Now, what we are going to do is creating our notes repository with its, of course, abstraction and implementation and the fake version of it that we will use for testing. And as well, in this video, we'll also create the load notes and delete notes use cases and test them. So all of that in this video. Now, let's get started with it. So let's just close everything that we have opened. Let's close these to just have a clean package structure. Now, where are we going to have a repository inside domain? Create a new package called repository that is called node repository. That's an interface. Actually, why right here? We'll have three functions, absorbing a note, deleting a note, and getting all the notes. So let's create some space. If you can already see fine. Anyway, suspend fun absurd note. That takes a note item of type note item. And it returns nothing. And then the second one is delete note. And then the last one, get all notes. This one doesn't really take anything. It instead returns a list of note item. Like this, maybe I need to remove that. That's it for my repository. Now I want to create the implementation for it. So what is this implementation going to be? First of all, let's actually bring this one to repository here. I don't know what it's doing there. The implementation is going to be inside data. So right here, repository again, that's going to be note repository implementation. This implements my notes repository. Let's override those functions. And this repository needs the database instance, our own database. So let's just create space. This takes a node db of type node db. And then once our DAO private var node DAO is going to be my node db dot node DAO. Okay, all we are going to do is call in those functions. We won't actually test these functions in here because they are already tested with this DAO because we're simply only going to do notes DAO dot absurd note entity passing my notes item dot to note entity for answers. We already tested these functions and we create this repository and we'll create the fake version to test the use cases. And then we'll test the use cases or create the use cases to use them in the view model. And then we'll also test the view model. So that's how it goes. This repository won't be tested, okay? To delete a note, note DAO dot delete note passing my note item dot to note entity for deleting, and then return note DAO dot get on note entities dot map it to note item. That's it for my repository. It's very simple. Now I want to do some dependency injection to provide this repository, and that's going to be again inside DI. Of course, uh, usually we have another one called repository module in which we have an abstract class that has abstract functions that we, we use to provide those. But the problem with that is that when we want to uninstall our module right here, if we go here, we'll have to uninstall a bunch of modules and we can do that and then pass the other modules that we want to uninstall. But the problem is that it doesn't work. It doesn't uninstall it. For me, at least, and I've tried, the only solution is to create build flavors, which means we need to come here and then create new build types. So a testing build type in which we only provided those testing and fake dependencies, fake repositories and stuff, which is something a bit more complex. And I think that will be too much for you in this first beginner testing playlist that I'm doing. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have all my dependencies in one module and just uninstall that module in my test cases. And of course, provide the fake versions in my test app module. And in the future, I may do more complex test stuff in which I create more build flavors in which I have those testing dependencies provided, okay? So in here, I once again provide singleton like this, fun provides node repository. This one needs node db like this, and it returns a node repository. So return node repository implementation passing my note db. So here I have it. I just need to copy this now, go to my other di in testing, paste it. We don't need any database for testing. Now we will create a fake note db like this. So how is it going to look like? We'll go to data. We just want to copy it actually. We'll go to data again in here, create a package called repository. Of course, now we're going to create the fake version. So fake note repository 
like this. This doesn't take anything in the constructor. We can get rid of that because this is unit test. We don't need any database or anything. And how this note or fake note repository is going to look like, let me just paste it for you. And let's see, we have note items list, which simulates our database. Maybe I have some extra stuff I want to delete and let's import it right here. And let's go back to it. This note items represents my database, my table, okay? And I have my functions. When I want to absurd a note, I absurd it to my list. It's like absorbing it to a database. And we can't access database. Uh, maybe now I'm in the Underwood test. Okay. We can actually access our database right here, but we don't want to. Now let's actually create it in the unit test. So right here. So let's copy like this and then it will be core dot data like this and then let's paste it to not be confused this one is let's just rename it this one is fake underwood note repository this one now is inside the underwood test package so it's called underwood let's not worry about that one now we are interested in the second one so let's just close this one this one in just unit tests in local unit tests so as i said this represents my database and when I insert something, I just add it to my list. When I delete it, I remove it from the list. And then when I want to get, I get all the items or I just get list simply, okay? It's of type note item, which is exactly what I get in my interface, as you can see. And uh, this one, of course, we have this interface and we can create a bunch of implementations for my interface. Here is a fake implementation for my unit test, my local unit test. And then this function is, let's say, when the user already has some items in the database and then they open the app, so there will be items displayed. So that's exactly why we have this function. Should have field list. If that is set to true, we'll have some items in the database already. So when we say get items or get all notes, we'll get these. But if it's set to false, then we'll get an empty list. So it depends. If you want the items, we can set this to true. If not, we can just leave it. Okay, so that's the fake repository. Now let's continue my app. So here I have my real repository right now that access the real database and this these functions in my DAO are already tested. They're already working fine. What I want now to create is my use cases for deleting a note and loading all the notes or get all the notes from the database. And since that future only belongs, so let's check the app, that future only belongs to this screen in which I have the notes list and deleting a note also belongs to this screen. That means I need to create a package for that. In my root package, I'll create a new one called note list. Inside it, I will have a package called domain.useCase. Maybe like this. Oops, I have a problem. Underscore. In here, I will have now my two use cases. So let's create the first one, which is get all notes. Okay, that's going to be a class like this. And this class needs my repository now. So private of all notes repository. Like this, let's import it. Maybe it's called notes repository, not notes repository. That's a mistake like this. Now, since we want to inject this one to this uh, use case, let's first provide that as well. So let's go to core di app right here. And then we just need to copy this, paste it, provide get all notes use case like this, that needs now my note repository, it returns my get on notes, and then it returns get on notes, passing my note repository. Here, I just provided it. And I actually need another one for deleting, so we just create that one first in here. So delete note like this. Okay, this one will be provided as well. So let's just copy it, paste it, provide delete note use case and delete note use case, delete note use case. Now I have them provided. Let's copy this. Let's go to our underwood test package core the eye and let's provide those as well in here because we need them just like this we don't have to change anything let's actually rename this one into delete notes like this and let's get to this first one get on notes use case we'll have an operator function invoke and since we already saw in the app that we can order the notes by the title or the date added so when we get these notes, we need to specify in which order. So let's create space by just passing a boolean that is is order by title. So the default is date, but if you want them by the uh, title, then we can pass this. And then we won't implement our function. Why? 
because we first create the test cases for it. Okay, so that's test driven development. So test, we'll, we'll use JUnit4, and this is a unit test. So we, we won't access any underweight framework components or resources or anything like that. So it will be inside the unit test. So let's close the underweight one. Let's go to the unit one, note list. This is my use case. And now let's write tests for it. Now I need two rows again. So let's just create some space down here. One of them we already saw in here. We don't need any Dagger Hilt dependency injection actually. So we just need a rule now for the asynchronous execution of tasks. So get rule var instant task execution rule. Let's import that. Now let's create an instance of my get on node use case, which is what is it? Which is this one? Yes. So that's going to be a private let init var get on notes of type get on notes. And to create an instance of this one, we need our fake repository because as you can see, it needs a repository. So that's also going to be a private late init var fake note repository of type fake note repository. And then I will create my before function like this. Let's annotate, let's import before we create our fake repository and then we create our get on notes use case passing this way. And now we want to have a field list. So my fake notes repository dot should have a field list. That's true because I want to make sure that the ordering and Am I really getting those items from the use case or not? Okay, so that's going to be at test fun get notes sort by title. So the first one, what we expect is that they are sorted by title. Okay, so here we have a typo. And then this again needs a quality scope. So run test like this. Now we can make sure that they are sorted by title. And how do we do that? I want to get notes from my get all notes use case. So val notes is going to be my get all notes dot invoke order by title set that to true, as you can see. So that one is says is order by title. Where is the test? Yes. Let's just close this one. Yes, order them by the title. And then I want to make sure that they are actually ordered by the title. To do that, I want to use a for loop for i in the range of zero until uh, notes dot size minus two. I'm not sure what, okay, it says unit, but actually this one should return a list of notes items. That's what I didn't do. Okay, so I want to assert that, import it from truth, the notes in the current position I am in. So notes I dot title, is less than my notes i plus one dot title. So what this says is that I will compare the title that I have in this position, which is in zero, I will compare it to the next one, which is one. So zero plus one is one. And if this one is less than this one, so it will compare the first letter. If this one has an A and this one is a B, so it's less than that, so it is sorted by the title. And then it will compare the next one, which is now one with two and so on. If they are all less than the next one, then definitely it, they are sorted by the title. But now if I run the test, it will fail because the function isn't implemented yet. So we'll write the implementation for it. As you can see, the test will just fail. So right here, what we are going to do is we're going to write return if is order by title, that's going to be something else, something else. So when we want to order by the title, we're going to use our notes repository dot get on notes dot sort by it dot title dot lowercase. So we want to sort them by the lowercase. And this one has to be a suspend operator font. So we just remove this font, suspend operator font because this one is a suspend function. So we want to sort them by the title and then we lowercase the title because with uppercase letters we'll get problems. Now we just want to copy this for if we don't want to sort them by the title, that's going to be the date added and we don't have any lowercase now. Okay, so that's the sorting. If it's order by title, then we order them by title, otherwise by the date added. Great. Now let's run the test again since we implemented our function and hopefully it passes. I don't know what just happened. Let's just wait or run it again because I don't see any result. Okay, the test passes and everything is great. Now we want to see the other case, which is ordering by the date. So order by date added, sorted by date added like this. And then this one is going to be false. Now we'll compare 
if our date added is less than this other date added of the next item. Let's run this test again and see if it passes or not. It does pass. Okay, that's exactly what we want. We can also write another test, which is if we don't want to have a fill list. So let's say now since actually we want to have fill list only in these two, let's paste it in there. But then let's create another test for when we have an empty database. Make sure that we actually get an empty list. So get notes from empty list, for example, we get an empty list. That's what we expect. So we should have a fill list set to false that we don't want a failed list. And let me just create a little bit of space here. We want now to get everything. It doesn't matter the sorting now. All I care about is the notes are actually empty. So it's going to be assert that note dot is empty. Let's run this because here we don't have a fit list. Hopefully it passes. If not, we'll see what problem that we have, but we have no problem. Let's run all our tests and see they are all passed. So our use case is well implemented. Now let's move on to the next one, which is the delete note use case. Let's create a test for it as well. So generate test like that and then of course a unit local test or local unit test let's delete this one in this one we need similar things so let's just copy them uh, in this test so we need these things let's just copy them and paste them right here let's create space except that we don't want to get all but delete note like this so delete note is delete note great now let's run our tests again and let's just actually copy one of these so that we just save some time and let's change it. So what we want to do is delete note from list or from database or whatever. And then we want to ensure that note is deleted. So that's what we expect. We do want to have a failed list, so this could be true. And since that's the only function that we want to, that's the only test that we have, we can have this in the setup function there. Now we want to delete a note that is already in the list. How do we know that? Let's go to our fake repository. So here are all the notes that we have. All I'm going to do is take one of these and then delete it from the list. So val note is going to be this one. So this note that is already there in the database. Okay, let me just bring these two new lines like this. Now I want to use my delete note to delete it, but I don't have that function yet. So let's go here and let's create it. Of course, we are only going to create the signature of that function. So suspend fun actually suspend operator fun invoke that takes a note of type note item and it returns nothing now we want to implement it so let's go right here delete note use case dot invoke passing my note so now it will delete it and i want to assert that and just remove this truth import it maybe make sure that i don't import the wrong one so i want to make sure that my fake notes repository dot get on notes dot contains this one which is the note that i just deleted let's bring this to a new line dot is false so it's not contained in there it was deleted okay let's run the test hopefully it is actually deleted and it is not so the test fail let's see why and the reason why is of course we did not implement the function yet that's exactly what we want so this is test driven development now we will implement the function that is going to be my note repository dot delete note passing my notes let's run the test again and let's see if it passes or not it does pass my use case is working so both those use cases that I just created which are deleting notes and getting on notes are working just fine and this is it for this video see you in the next video and bye